All right. Welcome to another 15-minute Feature Friday. Today, we are going to talk about a custom development plugin that allows us to export to Axon. Um, if you're not familiar with this uh, plugin, um, it will be one of those kind of little hidden gems that we have that uh, will help with uh, law enforcement. So <clears throat> first, let's talk about uh, evidence.com. So what is evidence.com? Um, this is a site that uh, is used for evidence management. Um, it allows them to allows law enforcement, the DA office, um, anybody that's got a, a license to manage photos, documents, and video, right? So of course, we're the video piece, and that's why it's of interest to us. The other thing that's really important about the way this site works is um, the evidence can be shared with anybody within the organization, outside the organization, um, and even folks that don't have a license with the organization. But it also allows them to maintain what they call the chain of custody. Now, the chain of custody is basically just an audit trail that makes sure that that piece of evidence that has been logged in there, whether it be a document, a video, um, or a photo, doesn't get changed, um, doesn't get deleted. If it does, there's a, a an audit trail and they can go back to where that happened and who had uh, who had done that, right? So um, makes it very, very easy for them to transfer evidence from, say, police department to the DA office for, um, for investigation or for uh, courts, for, for going to court and prosecution. Another nice feature about evidence.com is it's all cloud-based. So as long as you have a browser, uh, you have access to evidence.com. And that makes it really easy, again, if you're uh, prosecuting in court, very easy to bring up the evidence there and um, very easy to access it from anywhere that you may be. Uh, probably the biggest selling point is at this moment, uh, Axon is not charging for storage. So they have, if you have a license with evidence.com, you have unlimited storage. So put as much video, as many photos, as many documents as you want up on that site. So um, a couple of things that I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to present this to a couple of different law enforcement agencies, and it seems that this is being adopted uh, briskly, right? So there's a lot of DA offices that are asking police departments and other law enforcement agencies to either join this or at least utilize it in order to transfer that evidence, which, <clears throat> which makes it very, uh, very good for us. Uh, one of the other things that's kind of neat about evidence.com at the moment, or at least as of December, I don't know if this has changed, um, but at least as of December, we were the only one that had a plugin that allowed direct exports to evidence.com. So with that all being said, next question is, is well, what do I need in order to install this plugin? Uh, you do have to have a corporate license. And it has to be 2018 R2 or later. And the same thing for the, the smart client. You have to have 2018 R2 or later. Of course, you'll need to buy a license from Custom Development for the Axon Export Service. And that service, if it's going to be installed, either needs to be on that management server. Or if it's going to be on a separate uh, server, it has to have access to the management server and the recording servers. So with that, I didn't do a whole lot of slides here because I thought it would be a lot more fun just to kind of take you guys through what this looks like. So hang in there for a second and I'll pull this up. Come on. So first thing I'll talk about is how do you set it up? Of course, there's a couple of components that need to be set up, one on the management, management server side and one on the uh, smart client side. Uh, once you install the management server service, you'll get this MIP plugin down here at the bottom, and it's the upload to Axon. Once you have this installed, you will need to go to the Axon website, and we'll take a look at that here in a second, and you'll need to create a client in order for this to have access and be able to export directly. Okay, um, when we look at the the client side, once you install the plugin for the client, you'll end up with this little mid plugins box down here, and you'll notice you have this upload to Axon and, and a whole 
box here of goodies that we can use in order to export to. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this since we're here. Uh, first thing is, is you can always, if you have a multi-window, you can always say, hey, whatever selected, in this case, I have this one check marked, right? Or if I had a, like I said, if I had a couple of cameras here, let's see, I think I actually do. Then I could actually hit current view and it would select both of these cameras. And then if I wanted to, I could actually go and do custom. And then in within custom, I can go through and pick the cameras that I wanted. Okay, second thing. So there are both formats here. So AVI is basically one that everybody can view right off the site. So they have a player within Axon's uh, evidence.com site that will allow them to play basic video formats. Um, but if they're going to use it for court, of course, they're going to need that XProtect format. And the way that the uh, the way that the plugin works, it bundles it up, puts it into a zip file, and attaches it there. So a lot of times, these guys will put both formats up there, something for ease of use for viewing, and then something that can be submitted for evidence in court. Uh, big thing is, is that we don't get to use the little time bars here, the little slicer here, in the time selection mode. Uh, you do have to put in the exact times. In this case, I've selected the exact times. Um, and you do have to put the start and the end. Of course, it's this similar calendar and time feature, so not, not really that big of a deal. Uh, friendly name. So if you looked at my management client, you'll notice that I had a name for the service that I was going to upload under, and it was MRG. Uh, under owner name, this is the name of the user on axon or on evidence.com and so in this case it's me and then you're going to give it a quick title and maybe a little bit of a description and you're going to attach it to an, a uh, a case id once you've got all that information in there and then you can go ahead and hit export and what you'll notice oh i don't have a camera selected that's because i'm not selected now let's try that what you'll notice is We get this little message up here says job added exports. We can also click this button here and we can now see that it's queued and it's exporting or whatever the status may be. So this is a nice little window to keep you up to date on what's going on with your exports. All right, so we've done the export. We've got it up to the, to the website. Of course, the ones that I'm doing today won't probably show up on evidence.com. It takes a little bit for it to get there, um, but once you get to evidence.com, stay signed in. What you notice is you go to evidence, and I'm going to go to my evidence, and I'm going to use a couple that are a little bit older um, just for, for easy use so we don't have to wait. And what you'll notice is you've got a couple of different uploads here, right? So this one is that AVI format, and it allows you to look at it directly and play it right on through from the website. Great, right? And then the other one is, I think it's this one, is the actual, oh, that's the audit log. And then we should have another one here, maybe not on that one, um, that will show us, it's not the icon, Let's try that one. Nope, that's the auto log. But you will also have another one that shows the um, export in a zip file in the uh, in the um, in the uh, XProtect format. So once again, all that stuff gets uploaded automatically. It shows up under my evidence, and this is where that evidence lives from now on. And like I said, we were kind of taking a look at that uh, audit log. Everything that's happened to this to this video is is maintained here so if anything new happens to it it gets added to this they always have control over what that is they have control over how that evidence is shared whether they can be downloaded whether it can be uploaded uh, what they can do to the evidence whether they can view it those kind of things uh, the other thing that i needed to show you is if we go over here to admin and under api settings this is where we get that information in order to put into our management client and whoop, wrong Wrong guy. Here we go. That goes in here. So very neat tool, very useful tool. Um, 
the couple of times I've presented to law enforcement, um, they were excited beyond belief. So uh, at this point, um, that's the end of the presentation. If you have any questions, uh, go for it. It looks like we got a couple of texts here. Maybe. Oh. Where are the dates coming from? So, Mike, are you speaking about? Yeah, so it looked like all those dates that were in the, on the video, the, um, the audit logs, the stuff in that was in evidence.com. Okay. That was all that was all like from December. And I yeah. guess that, that might have been just the last time you were logged in and using it. Yeah. Um, and that's, okay. that's exactly what it was. That was the last time I did a presentation. It was for a uh, police department. And so we actually went through the whole process. We sat there for 15 minutes waiting for the uploads to finish. And, uh, and that was what, what you were seeing there. So okay. and that, and that, um, go ahead. they pull that date from mouth from mouse with the videos recorded or were they put, pulling that from like the time that it gets uploaded or how do they, how do they know what time and date that is? It's the time that the process of uploading starts. So once that connection is made between our service and their website, it logs that time, and that's the, uh, the that's the export time or the upload time. Okay. Ooh, good question, Ove. I do not know if this is a U.S. only service. Um, I can tell you that the custom development team in Denmark is the one that put it together. Um, so I'm going to make the assumption that it is not just a U.S. only service, um, but I can't guarantee that. Are there any other questions? Well, gentlemen, if that's uh, if that's all there is, and then I'll call it a wrap. I think we made it under the 15 minutes, and that's uh, pretty awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend, and uh, talk to you soon.